Naturally, when you start improving yourself and get on the path of self-actualization, people will find it hard to relate with you. People will start thinking that you're some kind of, you know, outcast. You're trying to be the tall puppy. They start wondering why you're doing all these things that they're not doing. Because naturally, what you're doing is exceptional. The majority of people on planet Earth don't really put in that much work to self-improvement. A lot of people just coast by day by day, stuck in the you know human trap of low consciousness where they just do the mundane, they do whatever happens. Whatever life offers them is what they go with. They watch whatever's on TV, they listen to whatever's on the radio, they sleep, they do whatever their friends want. But the self-actualized or those on the path of it say, fuck that. We don't do that. We strategically look at what we are going to put in our brains, what we're going to listen to, the material we're going to watch, the things we're going to read, the quality. Try to get down to the bottom of things because you need this type of self-knowledge and knowledge of the world around you to make an impact. That's the problem. A lot of people are too happy with being mediocre. They're happy with being normal. They're happy with not standing out. That's not what I want, right? For what I want to do, I want to be remembered. I want to live a legacy. As far as I'm concerned, no one knows what happens when you die. No one knows what happens after you die. So all you have is the things that you have done to influence other people's lives. How have you impacted humanity? A lot of the greats have impacted humanity on a grand scale. Newton, Tesla, these scientists, Gandhi, Malcolm X, you know, all these great people have impacted humanity at some scale and they're remembered for that. So what the hell are you going to be remembered for? Are you going to be remembered for being mediocre? If so, what's the point? What's the point of living if you're just going to die and be, you know, and perish and that's going to be it? And there's no legacy, you haven't impacted anything, you haven't changed humanity for the better. See, in an ideal world, everybody is doing something that's, you know, helping push humanity up a little bit, you know, helping make the planet a little bit better for the next generation and stuff like that. But in the world as it is, the majority of people are not doing anything. They're just working in, you know, a rat's wheel. And a set few select people are the ones that are making the world shake, that are turning the wheels and pulling the levers. And these people understand that in order to make that kind of impact, they need to work on themselves. So that's what personal development is all about. That's what self-improvement is all about. You need to work on yourself, not expose yourself to the bullshit that is the mass media and what they try to put in your brain and finding the root cause of what makes the world work so that you can have the relevant knowledge to make an impact and the self-mastery to stay consistent with it. So next time your friends or someone around you looks at you weirdly, take it as a compliment, kind of feel a bit sorry for them because they are not going to be feeling as fulfilled as you at the end of your days. Naturally, the person who works hard on themselves and the person who works hard on bettering humanity in some way is going to feel a lot better when he's on his deathbed than the person who wasted it trying to live a mediocre life.